in personal life at a pool or at the beach, I'm wearing a swim shirt. I got, I got to cover up some of this, <laughs> you know? So we got Colton Dixon here with us. Brand new game we're going to play today called If the Shoe Fits. Now, what we need to do, Colton, is remove our shoes. So now, you're going to give me one of your shoes, and I'm going to give you one of my shoes. Now, Betty Rock is going to ask us each a question. If right. you think the question is true for you, you would raise your shoe, and I will do the same. We'll turn side to side. Betty Rock, Okay. would you ask your first question, please? All right, first question is, who has more shoes? Hmm. Oh, oh, Wally's saying himself, but Colton's saying himself as well. Okay. Wally, All right, you the were first. Truth, how many pairs <laughs> of shoes do you have? I, I've lost count. Okay, who I've, has more, you or your wife? Me. Really? Wow. Yeah. Ballpark the shoes. I'm, I'm in about 23 pairs. I would say over 30. Over 30? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, nicely done. Oh, wait. Another question. What is the most expensive shoe you have? Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, no. Do you have sneaker game? Like, are you okay. like a sneaker head? I like finding deals. Okay. okay. Me too. Okay. I have expensive sure, shoes, sure. Mm -hmm. but I find deals on them. I agree. For example, yes. this is ridiculous. The shoe that you're holding. Yes. Retails. For twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> that was a mistake. What? I, I wanted to smell what a twelve hundred dollars shoe smells That's like. Insane. Smells the same as my forty dollars shoe. Twelve hundred bucks? I paid two hundred for them. Okay. So I like finding deals. What kind? But are I they? also like nice things. Who takes longer on their hair, Wally or Colton? Oh, Wally says Colton. Oh, but Colton says Wally. No, <laughs> come on, really? Look at you. There's no way you wake up and walk out of the house like that. Five minutes. Really? Yep. Okay, now I'm. I've also, got it down to a science. I'm also five minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let Let's go through. The, let's like the okay. girls do. Hair care. <laughs> what uh, What What is your secret? What is your regimen? Blow dryer with okay. with the flat attachment. Okay. What kind of product? Uh, Kevin Murphy. Nice. That's it's getting weird. Not gonna lie, that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's thin. Uh, <laughs> this is, your hair is what my hair aspires to be. Like if there was just more of it, I would have that haircut for sure, but I can't. I uh, use Tresemme hairspray like a beast. Hey. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hairspray in this. I used to do the got to be glued hairspray, yeah. which is just, yeah. it just doesn't move. Well, see, back in the day, before you were even born, I had hair down to here oh, and yeah. did rock hair, and it was Aquanet. Oh, and yeah. And you would turn your head upside down, blow, now you can see my bald spot, before it was all hair. Uh, and so then you would blow, you would blow dry it and then spray the heck out of it. Okay, okay. next. Who is most likely to lie to get themselves out of trouble? Oh, Colton, without hesitation, said Wally, and you did. <laughs> yes, I, I'm gonna. I'm like anytime someone like in the news and they're like, you know, Senator so and so just lied to cover up something, and everyone's shocked and appalled. I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> like I totally get that. Like I get human nature. It's human instinct. Yeah, it is. I agree. Deny, <laughs> deny, deny. You're like so, like it never shocks me. Is it the right thing to do, kids? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, who is not afraid? to take their shirt off in public. Oh, Colton? You? Oh, Colton too? Oh, <laughs> I did not think that was gonna happen. Yeah, now I typically, like out of shape male chest nudity is funny. <laughs> Yeah, Chris Farley taught us it, that it's it's comical, it's for the joke, so I am, and, and will do that. But in personal life, at a pool or at the beach, I'm wearing a swim shirt. I got I got to cover up some of this, you know. A couple extra. It, it, it's uh, what do they call it? Not dad bod. Uh, they call it father figure. Oh yeah, so, father figure. I got that. I like that way better than dad bod. Yeah. Okay. Who has the most pretentious coffee order? Colton. Mm. Wall oh, Wally's saying know. Colton too. Okay, wait. I want to know what is your coffee order? It's either a chai tea latte or a vanilla latte. That's nothing. Mm. That Let me tell you what Wally's order that is. That is way not as bad as mine. Wally oh, come on, that's please. way worse. Wally wants a vanilla latte at 140 degrees, the kid's temp. With double vanilla. With double the vanilla. Yeah. And I actually ordered it for him once in the drive-thru and the Starbucks barista said, you realize that's not coffee. Yep. I said, I know. I'll have a Trenta no foam, five shot half cap, no foam, pumpkin spice latte with no foam at 210 degrees. I went and ordered it one day. And, uh, and I said, I, I told them, I said, I'm gonna go order my coffee and I'm gonna own it. I'm gonna just walk in, I'm gonna look that man that's uh, the barista dead in the eyes and I'm gonna order this extremely girly coffee and I'm gonna just own it and be like, yes, sir, that's mine. So I get in there and then 
back to the lying thing, I'm like, uh, pfft, I'm so tired of making coffee runs for my wife. Oh, you know what it is, right? <laughs> and I totally did not own it, man. I That's amazing. Sauce. Yeah. I'm always used to having the complicated order because my wife is just like, I'll take a coffee black, please. And I'm mm. just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, come on, be a friend here. Be a buddy. You're a horrible wing wife. She's ordering for you. <laughs> <laughs>